holder of crushed aspirations. Greetings, seeker. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is not important, and just by reading this, you've already told me yours. But I digress. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. Grab the clerk roughly by the lapels, lift him into the air, and demand to see the holder of crushed aspirations. His eyes will roll back in his head, and heat will course through him. This heat will be like none you have ever experienced and will slowly spread through your body, reducing you to ash as it goes. However, you are not being incinerated. I'm simply transporting you to my realm. If you attempt to move away from him before it has been completed, the parts of you that have been transferred will stay on my plane of existence, and the rest of you will not. Endure the searing pain, as I'd honestly rather meet you in one piece. Once you in your entirety have reached my realm, you, as many seekers do, will be horrified to realize that the ground, nay, the entire planet upon which you now walk, is made of flesh and muscle. Trees of bone grow taller than buildings high into the blood-red sky. A faint wind plays across the uninhabited, organic landscape. It is at this point that I feel it is important to inform you of a rather unpleasant fact. My world is made from the flesh and bone of seekers before you. However, they are all long dead. Eternal suffering, this. Hellish damnation, that, it's all so annoying. If you die in my realm, you will die, and your corpse will be reassembled into my world. It's that simple. In addition, nothing will harm you here until you are ready. When you are prepared to face my test, stand under a bone tree and shout. I accept your challenge. Holder, your power is nothing to my will. After you say this, an ornate sword made of bone will fall from the tree, landing neatly in your hand. Subsequently, out of the fleshy earth will rise a replica of yourself, although it will not actually be you. Per se, it will be you as you always wanted to be. It will be you if you had made all the right choices, gained complete control of your body and mind, and exercised yourself to your fullest potential. It will be your hopes of personal gain embodied. It will be armed with a sword identical to yours. That is the test. Seeker, you must defeat it. Its skill will be what you always wished you had and will be superior to yourself. Do not, however, think that I want you to be killed. This is simply a test, as I can't simply meet with every imbecile who fancies himself a seeker. Do your best to defeat your own aspirations. I warn you it will be difficult. However, I do wish for you to succeed. If you manage to defeat your own hopes and dreams, drive your sword through the heart of your aspirations. You have little time at this point, as it will recover quickly. This simulacrum of your ambitions is nourished by the entire planet. After all, you must ask it the question, Who crushed his dreams? It will tell you. It will tell you how he was once human, but was destroyed utterly, mind and soul. It will tell you how he turned to darkness, 
and what role the objects play in it all. This knowledge is not meant for the feeble minds of humans, and many a seeker has willingly surrendered himself to my world, only to end the pain this understanding brings. However, should you survive, your aspirations will remove your sword from its chest and ram it into your own. After you wake up, you will be lying in the bed of the place you call home. I will probably be on the floor near you, or next to you on your bed. I like to change my form occasionally, so I cannot tell you what I will be when you find me. However, if you touch me, you will hear my voice, and my dreams will become yours. I am, after all, Object 397 of 538. I dream of our reunion, and I shall teach you two as well.